Hi everyone, welcome to Sean Allen Films The Educational Series. I'm Sean Allen. This is part two of the muscular system. In last week's episode, we looked at the different types of muscles that are in the human body. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the muscles that surround your head. If you have not seen the last episode, I suggest you either click this annotation or click the link in the description of this video. And I suggest you do that right now. So if you're ready, let's get started. By now, you already know that we need muscles in order to move our mouth and our face. Well, guess what? We're gonna be looking at some of the major muscles that help us move our head. Where are the muscles located? Well, they're located around the outside of the skull. Here is a drawing of the muscles surrounding the head. This muscle right here is called the sternocleidomastoid. Yes, that is a long and tough name to pronounce. This muscle, along with the posterior triangle and the trapezius, helps with the function of rotating and flexing the head. Along both sides of the head are the temporalis muscles. These muscles help with the movement of the jawbone. The muscles surrounding your eyes are known as orbicularis oculi. These muscles help you blink your eyes. You have two muscles that are connected together. They are frontalis and occipitalis. When you combine them together, they form a muscle called occipitofrontalis. Yes, that's right. There are two muscles that are connected together as one. Along the sides of your cheeks are your buccinator muscles. These help you increase the size of your mouth. That way you can take in more food. Plus, the buccinator muscles help you spit something out. Yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend you doing that. You know, drinking vinegar. Yeah. The muscle in front of the buccinator is the masseter. This muscle helps out in bringing the mandible in so that we can close our mouth. The muscles that are running parallel are called zygomatics minor and zygomatics major. What is interesting about these muscles? Well, it turns out that they are the muscles that control your lips. The zygomatics minor helps raise the upper portion of your lip. Zygomatics major functions the bottom of the mouth. The muscle that is located on your bottom lip is known as the plasma. Okay, visual. Here's where it is located. It also goes down your throat. Okay, just a few more muscles to look at in the head and then we will be done. This muscle is orbicularis oris. This is connected with the zygomatics major and minor. It basically surrounds the mouth and helps with the normal functions of the lips. The lateral pterygoid is located behind the masseter. It helps with the opening of the mouth. The medial pterygoid helps you close your mouth. As you can see, several muscles have the same job as other surrounding muscles. Try not to confuse yourself. When you get into more advanced human anatomy classes, you will learn a whole lot more than what we are teaching you. We're just trying to give you the basic idea of each muscle. Well, everyone, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I know I've done quick reviews in the last several episodes, but in spite of what we've learned today, I suggest that you go back and review this video so that way you can get down the names of the head muscles. In our next episode, we will be looking at the muscles in the chest, and the back.
Before you go, be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out Sean Allen Films' The Vlog series and the Disneyland video series. They're right there in front of you on this end slide. Also, be sure to check out the official Facebook page for Sean Allen Films' The Educational Series. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning.